Hi guys, it's your girl Lady V back again with another video. Now today I will be reviewing this um, eyeliner wing stamp that I've been seeing everywhere. Um, and of course I didn't get the expensive one because man's still on a budget. So I got mine from eBay, I'll have the link in the description bar. And um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. So this is how it came. So I got my stamp. With that logo. And it came with this brush. And the actual stamp itself. Okay, so the stamp has two ends. There is the right end and the left end. It's dirty because I tried it out already. So that's the shape of it. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. No long thing. Um, so first things first, you get your stamp. Figure out which end you want to start at, and I think I want to. think I'm going to clean this actually. Let me clean this. Okay, so met now. Okay, so I'll I'd advise you to clean this after every use, just in case there is a buildup of stamp on you and ink, and you don't want that because it might cause the wing shape to be different. All right, so I've cleaned it as you can see, normal black mess. So I'm just going to get the stamp and I need my mirror. So I'm going to start with my right eye. So I look for the R on here. Can you see that? No. Can you see? Okay, you can kindly you can kindly see it. And you just get the ink. Now I'm going to use my mirror. So you could either do this like in the middle here so that you have one of the the edge the edge of the wing coming this way and you could just carry on with that with the wing going with the eyeliner going down that way or you could just put it up here and just do the wing up there. I'm going to just do the wing above. Okay, I think I was talking too much, so it kind of dried out. Oh. Yeah, when I did it at first, it came out so good. Uh, it's not good to do, to do this twice, but I'm going to try and see if I can do it again. Should never do that. Okay, yeah, definitely don't do it twice. Okay, I'm going to clean it and I'm going to start all over again. All right, let's try this again. So I'm getting my stamp. Get my stamp. Make sure it goes evenly on the stamp. Get my mirror. Same concept, stamp. Now I'm going to connect the wing.
So I kind of, I kind of added a bit more to this one because this one was a bit more um, longer than that one because I put that in a bit. I don't know how people do this, you know, because um, for me, I can't really see out of one eye. I cannot focus when I have one eye closed. I cannot see. I have issues with my eyes. I can't see. And this actually helps me because I cannot do a wink with one eye closed so that makes it much more easier for me to apply this stuff I don't really do wings <laughs> I don't usually do wings but I'm gonna I'm doing one tonight so what do you think I think it makes my work so much easier this is for people who aren't as artistic as you other folks out there because I know some of you could just apply just could just do this wing and have it evenly done with just your hand, free hand. Nobody can't do that, okay? So that's the end clip, guys. So what do you think? I like it. It's not an everyday look thing for me, but it's nice. It's nice to look different, isn't it? okay so these come in three different sizes small medium and large you could choose how big you want your wing to look i chose medium thinking that it wouldn't have been this big but it is so yeah just bear that in mind when you're buying this and the price varies it depends on how i don't know if what's the difference between this and a, a 21 that's for 20 something pounds i think i got this for like two pounds if that much two or three pounds something like that okay so what do I think about the whole stamp idea I think it's a very good idea it makes um, applying um, wing for people who aren't that versed pretty easy and quicker much quicker than it was before oh and you have to be very careful because if you don't line it up correctly, not because it's a stamp, you figure, oh, it's a stamp, so what could go wrong? If you don't align it up correctly, you could end up with issues. You could end up with wonky wings or something or a smaller wing than the other. So you have to be very careful when you're applying it. And um, I don't, I, I applied it after I put my makeup on and I made a mistake with this wing, so I had to go and wipe it off. And I ended up having to like apply makeup again on just a bit on the hair because it, I had to wipe it off when I wiped it off it took my makeup off also so I don't know if it's easier if you were to apply it first and then put your makeup on after but then again maybe not or maybe I don't know they have people who put their eye makeup on after they put their foundation and stuff on so yeah, that's it. That's the, that's it. Again, this is it. I look like an Egyptian goddess. <laughs> oh. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you found this video very helpful. And I'll see you in my next review. And if you're first time watching my video, Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Bye.